Okay, welcome to this uh, impromptu Easter Hangout with Chris Kupel, Mission Director for at ATVCC. Uh, maybe we can well, start. Hello. Um, you only have seven minutes before you go to another meeting. Yes. Yeah, so, exactly. uh, very briefly, could you tell me what does the Mission Director do? Okay, as a Mission Director, we are overlooking the operations, uh, which are basically in hand of the uh, CNES uh, colleagues, uh, the Flight Director and his uh, team. And uh, we are making sure that everything is uh, going according to the rules. And then especially when things are uh, not going well anymore, then we basically take over responsibility and uh, make sure we uh, get out of it uh, in a good, good shape. OK, a very important role, I think. Um, can you give us a general update on ATV5 uh, undocking? Yeah, so we are now at uh, about uh, three hours uh, before undocking. So we have started our undocking procedure about uh, three hours ago. Uh, we, we're progressing. We, we had our failures uh, be before and um, we are dealing with it. Uh, one serious one that uh, didn't allow us to do uh, certain operations like shallow re-entry. Um, but that's why we have redundancies on board so we can uh, do all the operations with uh, quite some equipment less as well. So we're continuing and now we're roughly at um, undocking minus three hours which means that now the ISS will go to a stable position, LVLH, which calls is basically horizontal uh, position. It will stay there so that we can undock in the right uh, direction. Um, about 20 minutes before the undocking, we'll have our wake up two, as we call it, which is basically really activating all the equipment necessary for, uh, for the undocking. We have checked them two hours before. We have done a wake up one, that we call, we, we check if everything is okay. We shut them down again, and then we wake. Uh, we do the full wake up uh, about 40 minutes before uh, undocking, and then we open our hooks, and um, at the, we will roughly be at the 13:40 uh, Zulu. We will open our hooks at that time, and then one minute later, um, we'll do our departure boost, and we will leave from the station. Okay, so the next step is the wake up one. Is that correct? Wake up two. Wake up one, we have done it already. Okay. So now we are coming close to uh, wake up two, uh, where we basically really end in the in the, in the hot phase of the end up. Excellent. Um, how is the atmosphere like it's, uh, in the control center? Maybe it's, it's, uh, it's in two major feelings. Basically, one is the, the excited feeling, as always, during uh, operations, docking, undocking, launch. The whole team is there, really concentrating on the, the, the procedure. So stress, but very good, nice stress. Yeah, we, we, if you're in operations, that's what, we, what we're there for. That's what we like. So it's uh, very exciting. But as well, you know that it's the last one. So there's definitely a, a feeling like, uh, yeah, well, what happens afterwards? And we have this in several weeks already. Like, you, you know, you have the, the last uh, meeting with, with your colleagues, then you have your last simulation, you have the last year. So we have a lot of lasts. And every time it's getting harder and harder. Um, yesterday we watched live while they were doing closing the hatch. The astronauts were closing, and the, closing the hatch of ATV. Yeah, and also this was like, it was rather quiet in the control room. And, uh, when this happened we've seen so many before what well, didn't didn't have the same feeling but now it's it's different this is the last one it's yeah. the same for us for daniel and me it's, uh, yeah yeah it's an emotional moment for sure Good. um can you tell us uh <clears throat> sorry can you tell us what's going to happen uh, after atv doc undocks okay. it's, uh, a period of free flights exactly uh, we, we are basically we're having about two hours after undocking, we're still in, in, in a hot phase where we're very active in configuring uh, ATV. At a certain point, we go in, an, in a free flight phase, which is um, nothing really happening. Uh, we have to wait about 30, 30 hours in order to re-phase so that we're in exactly the right position to start our deorbit burns, which means the burns to re-enter re the atmosphere at the right time and the right position. So we're basically phasing, drifting, Drifting till we get to the certain to the exact point, start our whole re-entry procedure. This re-entry procedure will take about uh, six hours, and uh, basically tomorrow around 1800 uh, Zulu, so 1900 European time, we will drop in the atmosphere, and then some parts will come in the South Pacific uh, area. 
Okay. Your, um, I have a question about the shifts uh, that you do because you're not going to be on shift for 30 hours. Uh, no, exactly. Yeah. Will you be here for the for the undocking itself? Um, so for the re-entry? I will definitely be here. I will. I'm not on console. I'm uh, now on console for the undocking. So I'm the mission director for undocking to, together with uh, Paul O'Shea. Uh, this will be my my hot phase. Um, I'll definitely. Uh, I'm definitely available. And as a lead mission director, I will definitely be there for re-entry. But it's uh, somebody else uh, having the controls uh, on console. Okay. Will you be able to get some sleep in between? Or? Oh yeah, de definitely. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, it, it's it's never tired enough to. It's not that difficult to get uh, get some sleep. Okay, you're very calm. Yeah. Stress free. Um, okay, maybe one more question, if yeah. you have time. Yeah. Uh, what is the best memory uh, that you're willing to share with us of your whole uh, ATV? Uh, there are a, a lot of very good memories. It, it starts with on a, on a personal point of view. Uh, coming here, living with a family in, in, in southern France has definitely some advantages. Uh, we have really, the family has enjoyed it here. Um, on a professional point of view, um, obviously the, fir the first launch and the first docking. Uh, the first docking was very, very intense. Um, so definitely have very, very good memories on this. Uh, I remember that on the first mission we had to do demonstration days. So we, we came up to 11 meters of the ISS. And then we had to retreat again in order to come back 20, uh, 48 hours later. A very hard moment as well. You, you're almost there, ATV was in perfect shape. You have to, to leave again to come back and you don't know what happens in between in 20, in 48 hours. So it was like, let's hope everything go, goes well. But it went went very well. And then yeah, the cooperation with uh, with NASA, with our Russian colleagues, it's, it's, it's all been very good and uh, intense uh, memories, let's say. Okay, good to hear it. Uh, what's next for you? Are you going to be able to stay in France? Or? No, I will uh, go back to the uh, European Astronaut Center in Cologne, okay. where I'll be responsible for, for astronaut training for the European astronauts uh, all over the world, basically. Great. On to new adventures. Yeah, definitely looking forward to the new adventure. Okay, uh, well, that's all we have time for, as you said. We're going to see you man, in next, on to the next meeting. Uh, thank you very much for your time. And, You're welcome. Um, we're all looking forward to watching the undocking and the switches. Um, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to this as well. Okay. Thank you. Bye.